Hey guys and welcome back. My name's NG Paradox and welcome back to our Horse Lords Let's Play. Now, last time we left off, we'd done quite well. We got a new piece of land. I mean, uh, that that's really it. Um, it. It's a good thing, really. You know, we're expanding our realm, but it doesn't really help us too much. Not really much else has happened. Uh, we now are next to these two pieces of land, so that means we could obviously... Um, loot these places but we still need about 1000 men to do any looting um, also at the moment we're still the smallest clan we still have the smallest population uh, though I do have the most soldiers that's just for now and for some reason my overlord what are you doing here why have you got 500 men why have you got some men here hmm what are you guys doing you mongols what are you doing in my lands huh First, yeah, okay, not sure what he's doing in my lands. We might have to go and uh, put our men there just in case. There's only 428, because I don't have to attack into those mountains. So I'm going to send my men back. We're going to keep our men there, I think, for now. We've got soldiers there, because I want to attack this guy again, because he's now got low men at the moment, but we can't attack him yet, probably because we have a truce. Probably have to wait a few years so we can attack him again. But we're definitely going to just try and swallow this guy up a bit more each time. You spend weeks in the wilderness searching for any trace of your prey, but to no avail. However, you find that you rather enjoy being in the wilds. All this daily physical activity, it makes you feel stronger. This is great. Ooh, we gained stronger, possibly. Damn it, he didn't get it. <laughs> That'd have been a good one to get. Wow. Um, you've returned to your court. Okay, I won't give up. The other thing I've got to worry about is my son is an idiot. Sotan, he's absolutely, look at that, three zeros. He He's absolutely terrible. We have to get rid of him. I need to have more kids. Um, my wife, though, is not giving me any kids. Luckily, we have two brothers um, who are okay. Except for you, you're not as good as the other one. But the other guy is winning at the moment to be our... Air. I kind of like the idea that prestige is what gets you to be the heir. That's kind of nice. So my son has to prove himself, and so far he's not done that. Maybe I should get a concubine. Huh. Let's have a quick look. What do we have here? Okay, let's just uh, get a concubine. I'm going to take her as a concubine, just to see if we can get any more sons. That's really what we want right now. But yeah, I'm just going to let my uh, my manpower population, I'm just going to let that stuff increase for now. Look how bloody long this takes just to, get, <laughs> just to go across through my lands. Oh my god. But yeah, um, at the moment we're just going to be playing a waiting game right now because I just need to wait for us to get more manpower, get more population like I said before. We now can have a lot more population. Plus 67. Okay, we're getting more than he is. And more than him. So our population is going up faster than theirs. Only by a little bit. But yeah, he hates me with a blood feud right now. Hopefully we can declare war soon. And where is our boss going? Where are you going, sir? Sir Kagan, where are you going? I have no idea where he's going. But yeah. Okay, we have enemies over here. Apparently we're at war. Uh, Kamak Conquest of Ket. Yeah, I've noticed a bug recently. It does not show me when my liege is at war, which has really frustrated me. Um, I got the flags fixed, though. So the flags weren't working as well, but I've got them fixed now as well. But, Kamak Conquest of Ket. Okay. So, we're attacking him. Yeah, so it looks like we're helping this guy out. Who is this one? But Ket is here. Why would we be... Okay. So he's been attacked by this guy. This is what I was meant to look at. This one. Okay. So this guy's attacking him. And we're going to go and defend his horde. Okay. I'm probably not going to get involved in that. That sounds a bit meh. I could probably attack this guy. What does this guy's armies look like? 500. This is probably his army. If I place my men here, yeah, if I place my men there, actually, terrain's desert. If I place my men there, we could maybe declare war on him. But it looks like I have no Kase Belli. That's a shame. 
So it's like I can't attack him then. Damn it. I guess maybe we could try and uh, fabricate a claim. These guys are leading my soldiers. That's why they're not doing anything. All three of them. Is there no one better than them? See, this guy's only got six. My spy master. I, I would suspect we probably have someone who's better than him. Resign commander, yeah. Okay, yeah, we have a, we have some people who are better. Um, this guy could be my steward. Okay, we've got to move our steward then. This guy has some combat modifiers. His marshal is only one. This guy is eight. Yeah. For generals. I I'm going to give it to this guy just for now. He has no combat modifier, but, you know, he is a good marshal, so... Okay, let's just scheme. Yeah, scheme maybe. Yeah, protect our, uh, our liege for now. So, our lord, he's uh, going over here. I don't know why I'm calling our lord. I mean, our uh, our leader, Khan. I always forget the name of them. Kagan. I need to remember that. Kagan. I think that's how you say it. But it looks like our ally lost his battle. That's not looking good for him. A quick look at the cultures, actually. Uh, a large merchant caravan from a distant land. Okay, what type of man am I? Gluttonous, honest. Well, there's no reason I wouldn't accept more wood, so let's just let him in. Uh, the evening falls. The fat merchant sits by the fire and regales you and the rest of the court with stories of his travels. He is, his appetite seems insatiable, but as you do not wish to prove a poor host, you order the servants to bring a second servant. Okay. Urga, there's Mongols, Kuman, Pechang, Togarian, okay. Dawn breaks and the caravan prepares to move on. The merchant insists on leaving you a gift. Ah, he shouts a terse command in a foreign language and a young man comes forward. This eunuch will serve you well. Oh, thank you. Shamir. Let's have a look then. Who is this Shamir? He's a Badoon. Okay, so he's actually a... He's from down here, basically, it sounds like. But he's also our religion. That's good. Okay, he's very good at martial. Wow. Okay, you're definitely going to be uh, my new martial, I think. Definitely. Um, trained warriors. What was the other guy like? Was he good at anything? Yeah, he's quite good at a few stuff. You could be my new steward as well, actually. I go collect tribute. Oh, he cannot do that. Okay, research, economic tech, I guess. Actually, no, you can uh, lead troops, I guess. Damn, I can't click him off that. I'll have to deal with that later. But uh, you can train warriors. But yeah, means I can get rid of this guy. I want to make this guy it. Bilge. Definitely perfect. Okay, that works out. Okay, Uzmek, and uh, we'll put me for now, put Bilge in when we can actually take him off as being one of the council, but we'll have to wait to do that till later. Um, 6th of February, so a few months basically. Our manpower's going up, our population is looking quite good as well. Huh, that is looking quite good. Manpower, minus 1,200. Okay, let's look at the clans then for now. Um, we're kind of catching up. He's still got low men, but look at that unused manpower. 2,000. Jesus. Raise manpower. Okay, our, our, our Kagan is actually doing quite well. 750 raised manpower. Probably don't want to mess with him. Still can't declare war. Cannot afford to lose piety. Uh, I cannot can afford to lose 416 prestige. So a little bit off on prestige. Maybe I should start getting one more manpower and we should start attacking one of these guys. We could start looting one of these. See, look, he has like 900 men. We could go here. How many men do you have overall? 900. So if we have 1,000 men, he could just try to fight us. You've probably got too many men. You've got too many... And you've got too many. Okay, so it'd probably only be Angshi. I, I would have liked to have played as these guys because they're quite small and really far east. But these guys are obviously not hordes, sadly. 
they're actually a feudal society. That could be a good future Let's Play, though. It could be quite a fun one. Catan. But yeah, that will probably be in the future if I were to do that. But right now, we're just happy playing as Uga. But yeah. Uh, our liege, he's actually winning his war. But they seem to have lots of soldiers. Okay, now it looks like they're fine, probably. Looks like I could probably defeat him. Pachang. Or P Pacheneg. Pacheneg? I guess. Pacheneg. But it'd be actually quite interesting to see what happens over here in the West. Because obviously I'm not going to be in the West. We have no influence on what's happening over here. We kind of see what would be going on. What will this look like by the time we get there? That'd be kind of fun to see. Without any of my uh, wars affecting it, really. I think I can send my son to be yep, sent away as a mercenary. Okay, so what happens if we send him away to seek experience? Um, he becomes independent, gains a trait adventurer, gets started mercenary company, monthly prestige. Ha! Huh. You'll be able to recall him, um, taking some soldiers from your current levy with him. I think he takes 500 manpower. Um, but that will be, you know, good for us because it means he can go off. But it just means I won't have any soldiers for now. But it would be good for him, to, you know, to prove himself because I still have no other sons. I'm going to do it because I have no other son. Oh, no, he only took a tiny bit. Wow, okay, definitely, that's good. Okay, he needs to go and prove himself, my son. Sotan, you're going to go prove yourself that you are a true warrior and that you deserve to inherit my title. If not... You know, I'll give it to a second son. If I can have a bloody second son. 21. I know I'm at, in a, the army at the moment. Before I wasn't. No, I still couldn't have a kid. But yeah, okay. So he's gone off. Uh, he's craven. So I don't know how well he's going to do. Um, so can we actually then uh, buy him? Can we actually uh, buy him? There we go. We can actually hire my son. So... That's really awesome, actually. I really love that feature. Here's 51 men. Okay. So it's 51 men right now. Okay, that means I should probably... Oh, there we go. Speak of the devil. She is pregnant. Oh, well, there we go. Okay, what I'm going to do, I'm probably going to call upon some more men. And we're going to go and loot Angshi. Okay. What do I want? I could use gold. We're going to use just prestige for now. And actually, let's use some of this gold. Let's build something. What should I build? Now, I want more soldiers, more population, really. That's really what we're falling behind on. Um, cattle pens will give us some tax which we, and population growth. But it's really expensive. Uh, sheep just gives us a lot of tax. Actually, 4%. That's pretty good. But then again, do I really need money right now? I don't know. I think I'd rather have population. Uh, population growth, 3%. That sounds... I'm piety. That actually could be quite useful. Cattle pens only give me 1% population growth. Hunting parties, uh, technology, clan sentiments, camp fortification, camel breeder. Okay. I'm going to go with, then, the Shrine. I think the population growth is what I really need right now. It's going to cost me a lot of money, though, but it'll be worth it. And then we can go and loot this lovely, lovely little place. That's what we'll go do next. I'm sorry, Angshi. It's only worth 6.5, actually. Damn it, that place is worth 40. The Silk Road, that is why. Yeah, it's not something I've talked about yet, I don't think. We can actually see, this is this one I guess, you can see here they've now added the Silk Road. The Silk Road is a nice little change we have here. I hear a son who's weak. But yeah, the Silk Road is, looks like an interesting thing, kind of allows trade going from the east to go west. Um, but this can be affected by wars and stuff as you can see here. War is blocking this part of the Silk Road. So those places are probably quite rich. So we probably want to take this land at some point. That will probably be something I'll try to do. I could actually just make these guys a tributary. That's actually interesting. Subjugation. Nomads can subjugate non-nomadic realms once in their lifetime. So how old is my guy? 35. We have a lot of chances to do this, but who else would we do this to really right now? 
This could be a good chance for us to just take Ang Shi. We can get a part of the Silk Road. Because he can only call upon 1,000 men. Invasion. If our population is getting too large, we can invade another realm. Um, I don't think our population is too large yet. So it'd probably be subjugation. Uh, subordination. We can subdue large foreign areas in a single war. Okay. Uh, nearby Buddhist rulers may, might ask to join him. Ah, that could be a problem. Subjugate. We can do subjugation or make a tributary. Forcing them to pay you 40% of their monthly income and tributes to you. Okay, that sounds quite good. That's like a nice one. We could just do conquest of uh, Ang Shi. We could just do a conquest of Ang Shi. That might be quite useful. You know, we'll see. Maybe I'll uh, loot it first. <laughs> we'll loot it first, and then we'll make a decision, I think. But yeah, Akagan has shown that he's weak. He's just shown that he's weak right now. He still can't beat this other Kagan. Kagan Tortugal Kimak. Okay, he's a Kuman. Okay, but yeah. Our boss, he can't seem to defeat them. How are the other hordes doing? You got Kazaria here. Yabgud looks a bit bigger than normal. Zumbil looks a bit bigger than normal. That's quite nice to see. <laughs> I don't think it usually looks that big. But Janid. Okay. Who's your boss? Okay, he's a Sunni Muslim. Looks like a lot of this land though is uh, Zoroastrian. And actually it's also over here. That's actually quite a big piece of... Uh, of land he's got here. He needs to take one of these two, really, to join it up. But, yeah. Okay, so we're finally down here. I'm going to probably take off my uh, guy here, because that's really not doing much for us. And I'm going to put him in charge of this one. Okay. And I guess what we can do is go and attack this. Let's just make sure. 900, yep. Yeah, okay, let's go loot that. It's only a little bit of gold, but it's, you know, it's something, isn't it? Go, my men. Loot. Burn. Pillage them. Truces are expiring. Okay, that's good. I had a daughter. Okay, so I didn't have a son, but I had a daughter. I wonder if daughters can inherit... Based on the uh, nomadic succession. I'm not sure if they can. I'm assuming they probably can't. That'd be kind of cool, though, to have a, a woman Khan leading our men. My son, though, is off doing stuff. Hopefully he does well for himself. Like I say, hopefully he can prove himself to us. That's really what I want. Are these guys a tributary to us? No. Don't think so. I want to say because the name looks like it's over them as well. Okay, there we go. We can still there. Uh, cannot loot. Every four days is split between all looting units. Blah, blah, blah. Why can't I loot? Uh, I'm not sure why I can't loot. We have the looting on. We're next to it. We're bordering it. Why can I not loot? I'm... Sure, no man, it's can loot. Um, let's just check here. I'm sure I looked at the beginning. Um, laws of change, revoke without, vassal tax, um, nomads. Huh. It doesn't say anything about I can or can't. I'm just surprised of why it does not seem to be working. Possible loot, zero. Okay, because there's so... Okay, I get it. Maybe because there's so little loot here that it's basically impossible. God damn it. Okay. So I guess we can't loot you then, sir. I'm sorry. Damn it. Yeah, possible loot is zero. Well, that's kind of annoying. Um, all the other ones, they have too many men. Damn it, I'm going to need more soldiers. I, I have enough money to actually hire more soldiers. So we could do that. But now he's got his men raised as well, so they're also gaining a, they're also gaining morale, which is not what I want. Maybe I should just attack Ang Shi. 
We can also now declare war on him now. I could take, yeah. Dispute Kyrgyz, no. Uh, Mertau or Azur. I don't want any of those lands. I want your capital. I want Altay. Okay. Just like right now, I can't take Altay. How are the... Uh... Okay, he's still got really low men. Our boss has 750 still, so he's definitely... Don't, definitely don't want to mess with him. I don't know why this guy's still in my lands. It's getting kind of frustrating. I have no money. You can't loot me. But yeah, okay, we're going to change the comment back then. I think I'm going to attack Angshi. So I can't take this land. I'm thinking subjugation. That'll be, a, that'll be two pieces of land straight away that we gain. And I don't think we're going to be able to subjugate anyone else in our lifetime. I mean, we could go over here, attack one of these. I can't declare war on him. Declare war. Ah, invasion. Yeah. Have population at least 90% and maximum. Yeah, we're nowhere near 90% of our maximum population. Okay, I like that kind of thing. So you can do an invasion if you have too many people. So that's not too bad. We can still do invasions in the future. Um, but yeah, I can just take Angshi. Then we can just keep eating this guy up. And I think that would be perfect. Then we can just revolt against our Kagan. Yeah, that'd be, I think that'd be perfect. 